Good morning, folks. Today we've got solar activity, atmospheric phenomena, and a major drought. But first, yesterday as the sun and earth were calm, we replaced the morning news with a review and challenge video to the USGS. The sun and earthquakes issue will be pressed now. If you didn't catch it and you don't know how to find our older videos, please feel free to just Google Space Weather News versus the USGS. It uh, won't be difficult to find somewhere. And I'd love you to share that video as our only hope of getting the U.S. government to act is if the people demand it. Anyway, we're at spaceweathernews.com and checking out the last day on our star. It was calm until near the end of the day UTC when two northern hemisphere eruptions took place on the departing and incoming limbs. The flare was only C-class, but it looks like a mountain compared to what we've had. In 94 angstroms, you can see the flare at the right departing, but also the simultaneous chain reaction eruption on the other side. Folks, those did not really produce ejecta like you'd think they would. In fact, the only CME we can really notice is actually coming off the far side of the sun and heading away from our planet, Venus creeping out from conjunction there as well. When we look at the sunspots, the main focus has actually become the newly departing group to the right. Way more magnetic mixing potential than the lone big spot incoming on the south. Over the last 24 hours, this grouping developed from tiny umbras to a somewhat complex group, turning away from the Earth now. Solar wind is about what's expected. Dense bulge and orange followed by faster particles of the coronal hole stream, but not too fast or intense. We took some instability in our magnetic shield, but nothing really major. More streams are on the way from this dark coronal hole. In a little quake lull as we were facing that brighter arch in the middle. Shaking should resume within about a day here though. Top stories at Earth include Master Ashcraft proving why he's the Sprite King, capturing the oval of an elf in there too. Video of this is linked for you below. We've also got the official report out of South Africa on their drought. Turns out all but one zone is in dire straits, and the infrastructure in place is somewhat less robust than previously reported. Folks, we had our podcast yesterday, Fly on the Wall, another hour uploaded under the members section. And please, if you didn't see our challenge to the U.S. government yesterday, Google Space Weather News versus the USGS. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, <laughs>